Hi there, I'm Kath. Welcome to my channel Made by Cathcraft and thank you very much for joining me today for a Christmas special. Um, so today um, I'm going to be talking about lots of Christmas makes, um, with sewing and knitting and a few other bits too. Um, I love Christmas and ever since I sort of started getting really into knitting and sewing um, a couple of years ago, I really enjoyed making things that make me feel Christmassy. Um, so I'm hoping that what I share, will um, you'll enjoy having a watch of what I share and that you might find some inspiration for some Christmas crafts yourself too maybe. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and let's get started on my favourite Christmas sewing and knitting makes. So I usually start with talking about what I'm wearing today and today um, for this Christmas special I've got my Christmas jumper on. Um, it's got this um, really cute print on it, well I think it's cute, of all these little children playing in the snow. Um, and the pattern I use to make this jumper is this one here. It's the um, Linden sweatshirt by Grainline Studio. It's a beginner um, pattern for sewing with knits um, and it's quite a straightforward basic sweatshirt pattern with um, raglan sleeves. Um, and then just classic kind of um, cuff and hem bands and a kind of classic crew style neckline. Um, it's a great um, yeah, starter pattern if you're sewing a jumper. Perfect for a Christmas jumper because it's quite a straightforward pattern so it can show off quite a um, jolly print. Um, so I made this jumper for last Christmas um, and I got the fabric from Lily and Mimi Fabric Shop and um, they sell lovely jersey fabrics and they've got a lovely Christmas range this year too so I'll pop a link down below if you fancy having a look. Lots of really um, funky prints that'll make lovely um, jumpers or pyjamas or clothes for children um, or adults. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is my version. I just made a little bit of, um, had a little bit of fun with the stitching. I had some little red stitch around the um, cuffs and around the neckband, just um, on the basis that why not make it a bit more Christmassy. Um, I'll put a picture of me wearing it, um, but I love this jumper and it makes me feel really Christmassy and I think it's quite fun. So that's my first um, Christmas make. Um, and then on the subject of Christmas jumpers, I thought I'd show you a pattern for a men's Christmas jumper potential. And it's this pattern here. Um, oh, let me get out of the envelope. It's the I Am A Pollen by I Am Patterns. Um, it's a great men's pattern for a basic jumper. Um, it's quite similar to Linden, except the main difference is, other than it's for men, is that it's got um, these kind of standard sleeves rather than the ragged end sleeves. So I made a Christmas jumper for my husband out of this, um, and I'll put a picture up of him wearing it. And, um, oh, I should have said actually, this one is made in a French terry, so it's got the loop back texture, as you can see on the back there. Um, and the jumper for my husband is in French terry too. So it's quite a nice weight for a jumper because it's not too thick and cosy if you want to wear it inside or with layers, but it is a bit heavier than a standard jersey, so perfect for kind of a lightish um, weight jumper. Um, and the fabric I used for my husband's jumper, again, quite jolly, um, I got that from Jelly Fabrics, um, another great website, particularly for children's fabrics and some novelty prints. And I had a look, and they do also have some lovely Christmas um, stretch fabrics um, in stock too, so I'll put their link down below as well if you fancy checking them out. Um, but yeah, the I Am Pollen is a great um, men's pattern, and again, it's quite a basic um, sweatshirt, so perfect for jazzing up with a fancy funky Christmas prints. Oh, and I've got my husband's jumper here so I can show you the actual thing. Um, yeah, it's really nice and stretchy. It's got this um, loop back texture again. Um, it's just quite jolly. <laughs> the print's quite funky, I think, with the um, reindeers and Santa Claus on. So that's his, so we can look, we can kind of twin our um, quite <laughs> bright, bold Christmas jumpers at Christmas time. So that's his um, jumper, the I Am A Pollen for men. The next um, Christmassy make I wanted to share with you is actually the um, dress I wore on Christmas Day last year. And I might well wear it on Christmas Day again this year because I really love it. And it's this dress here. It's um, a day dress by the Avid Seamstress. Um, so that this is the dress and I'll show you the pattern. Um, it's a lovely pattern. Um, here's the front cover and um, here are the, the line drawings. Um, it's quite a fitted bodice dress. It's got bust starts and then waist starts as well. So you get a lot of definition around the bodice. And then it's got some different options for the front. Um, it says fairly high, high round neck. You can make a plain front or a button down front or a front with two pieces of fabric put together for an effect. And then it's got a gathered skirt. And at the back, there's a hidden um, zip that runs down the back. That's how you get into the dress because it is fairly fitted. So it's quite nice for a dressy dress. 
This is my Christmassy version. Um, I made it in this fabric, this lovely, um, it's a Pima cotton fabric that I got from Material Girl Laura, who's unfortunately closed down her website now. But it's lovely because it's got lots of little cranberries on it and little sprigs of um, greenery, which the cranberries make me think of Christmas with cranberry sauce. Um, and I like the colours, they're Christmassy. Um, and then it's got a zip in the back, as you can see, a red zip um, down the back. Um, and yeah, um, I really like it. Um, it's perfect for Christmas Day because you can start the day with a cardigan and a pair of tights keeping cosy and then when you're cooking in the kitchen you get a bit warmer you can take the cardi off. Um, when I made this dress, oh, I'll put a picture of me wearing it so you can see like what it looks like on. Um, I've made a few versions of the um, day dress by the Avid Seamstress and um, I have made a couple of versions that are fairly fitted but when I made this version I actually made it a little bit looser. I didn't, um, I think I sewed a slightly shallower seam allowance just there's a little bit more space in it um, for Christmas dinner <laughs> and it's not too tight for sitting on the floor and opening presents and playing with my kids either so it's a little bit looser which suits me really well for Christmas but that's my um, Christmas dress that I'll hopefully be wearing on Christmas day again this year the day dress by the Avid Seamstress in this lovely um, Pima cotton fabric which is lovely and soft but um, holds the shape of the dress well too I thought I'd also share a, another few of my um, garments I've made that I love to wear at Christmas time and the first one is this skirt here oops, at the back um, it's the Sew Over It Tulip Skirt. Um, it's a lovely um, skirt with a pleated detail at the front. I'll show you the pattern. And I've made mine in a red corduroy fabric, so it's really Christmassy. As so it's got a lovely pleated detail at the front. It's got a hidden zip at the back, so it's quite neat. And it's got pockets too, so perfect for popping in any uh, Christmas treats. <laughs> um, and I often wear this skirt at Christmas with a Christmassy jumper. I'll show you a picture up here so you can see how I style that one. Another garment I've made just very recently, which you'll see in my November makes vlog, is um, this pinafore here. It's a lovely deep rich red colour, again quite Christmassy. And this is a pinafore by um, Tilly and the Buttons, the Clio pinafore. Um, and I love it because you can style it up in different ways. Um, I'll put a picture of me again wearing it with a Christmassy top. I think it'll be perfect for Christmas, um, lovely a rich red colour. And then my, my favourite um, pattern for loungewear is the Hudson Pants by True Bias is this pattern here. Um, it's a lovely relaxed jogger um, with an elasticated waist and a tie at the front, little slap slit pockets and cuffs. You can make a shorter version too but that's not so wintry. Um, so I really wanted to make a Christmassy version of the Hudson pants so I made those in this lovely um, um, velour. It's a stretch velour with quite a high cotton content for Minerva so it's really comfortable to wear and really breathable too. Um, and um, yeah, this fabric was gifted me in return for a blog post. So I'll put um, a link down below because I go into a bit more detail um, in that blog post about my tips for sewing with velour and how I found this make. But they're super cosy and they're lovely and they've got a really lovely texture to them, really soft. And I'll put a picture up of me wearing those um, with my Christmas jumper. To me, that's like a perfect um, Christmas loungewear outfit, a nice Christmas jumper and a pair of really comfy, furry joggers. Um, so that's the Hudson pants. And then my final um, Christmas um, garment I wanted to share with you is more of a kind of party garment. It's this pattern here. It's the Camden Skirt and Pinafore by Nina Lee. And I think it's a great wintry skirt pattern with some lovely details. It's got a fitted um, waist. It's got these lovely feature pockets um, with this angular detail. And it's got a hidden zip at the back. And I made my version this lovely, um, quite chunky corduroy in black, which came from Minerva. Um, and I love corduroy as a wintry fabric. I think it's probably my favourite winter fabric because it's so snuggly and cosy, but I think it can be a little bit dressy too because it's got a lovely sheen to it. Um, but yeah, there you are, you can see the pocket there of the skirt. Um, and this is my um, favourite um, skirt to dress up a little bit. Um, with COVID this year, there won't obviously be many Christmas parties, um, so I might not be wearing this out at all, but I might wear it around the house and just feel a little bit special. And I love to wear it with a um, sparkly Christmas jumper. So I'll put a picture up of me wearing it with a ready-to-wear sparkly Christmas jumper I've got. And I really love that outfit. It's really comfy and, and cosy, but I think it also feels a little bit dressy too. So that's my final um, sewing um, garment make I wanted to share with you that I love to wear at Christmas. And now I'll move on to my other um, Christmas makes. And I've got one more sewing make, which is a non-garment make. And it's um, these cushions that have been sitting behind me. Um, so we have cushions out in our house all year round. Um, my children love them, they um, jump on them, uh, they lounge on them. And I love making them feel a little bit Christmassy for Christmas. So I made these cushion covers last year. 
They're just a basic cushion cover and they've got an invisible zip. Um, so what I do is um, I use the cushion pads, um, same cushion pads all year round. And at Christmas time, I just take the standard cushion covers off and add these ones on. Um, this fabric is a cotton poplin and it came from Minerva. And if they've still got it in stock, I'll put a link down below. I need to have a look for that one. It was a really straightforward make and I really love how it makes the sofas feel a little bit more Christmassy. I'll put a picture up of them in situ on the sofa um, and I'll include a um, link below to the tutorial I used to make this um, cushion with an invisible zip because it was a really um, straightforward tutorial and I found it really useful so hopefully you might too if you fancy making some Christmas cushions. The next Christmassy make I wanted to share with you is a knitting pattern and if you do like knitting I think this is a perfect pattern um, for knitting up for gifts and um, for others or also for yourself to decorate your own home and it's this pattern here it's a um, knitting pattern in double knit for um, knitted tree decorations and they're really lovely the different decorations and um, there's a little father christmas a snowman an angel a stocking um, different baubles and also candy canes um, so I got this pattern from eBay and I'll include a link down below because I think it still is available there if you fancy trying it. And I made these lovely um, little knitted um, decorations. Here's my little snowman and he's got a little um, stripy hat and that's got a little bit of sparkliness in the white there which is hard to see. Um, here's my knitted um, Father Christmas. Um, he's got a sparkly beard again, it's hard to see but yeah he's got a little sparkly beard. And here's my knitted angel too. Um, there she is looking quite relaxed and peaceful um, and these will go on my tree but I've also made quite a lot of these for other people's trees too um, they're really cute and they knit up quite um, quickly um, and they're good for using up oddments of wool as well because they don't obviously need that much wool so if you've got some red and white wool hanging around you could quite easily whip one of these up um, but I just think, I think knitted tree decorations are so lovely um, and I'll put a picture up of them hanging on my tree so you can see them as they look um, but they're a lot of fun to knit and I definitely recommend that pattern and I'll include details below of um, this knitted bauble pattern. Um, and then last year, my actual main knitting project that I spent quite a lot of the year knitting was to knit a Christmas nativity for my children. Um, it was a really enjoyable project and I learned a lot through knitting it. There was a lot of sewing up and fiddly bits. Um, and I used two different patterns um, to make the nativity. And I'll try and include a picture, um, it's quite big, uh, to show all the knitted um, people. And I'll show you some of them also now in the flesh. So I'll just go and grab them. So I'll give you a little tour through my nativity and I'll hold up the um, people and then I'll put up some pictures too so you can see in a bit more detail. But first of all, I've got Mary and Joseph. Um, there they are. And then they also have, this is um, baby Jesus there. Um, he's got like a little nice little detail around his body. And he's got a little manger I knitted for him to lie in. And uh, my daughter also wanted him to have a blanket because she was worried he'd get cold. So there's baby Jesus. I think because he's so white, it's hard to pick him up on the camera, but I'll put a picture up so you can see him better. Then I made the angel, Gabriel, there. And a star to shine above the nativity too. Um, then I've got the shepherds, two shepherds, and they have um, sheep. I just made one sheep, but my daughter requested more, so we've now got three little sheep. And I knitted them using this lovely cuddly wool, which gives them a lovely texture, but they're my three little knitted sheep. Um, then I've got the three wise men, or the three kings. There they are, and with their gold, frankincense and myrrh. And they also came with a camel. So I've got a little camel. And finally, the donkey. So, the little tail. Um, so there's all the different um, bits of the nativity. As I said, I'll include some pictures so you can see them. It was a lot of fun to knit. It was more time consuming than the um, knitted tree decorations, but a really satisfying project and my daughter really loves playing with them. So I'm glad I did knit them. And I used two knitting patterns. The first knitting pattern is this one here, a King Cole knitting pattern. Um, and it's also got um, some other nice um, knitting um, things inside too. It's got this lovely fairy lights garland, which I'd like to have a go of. A Robin tea cozy, some tinsel birds a mini sweater decoration to the tree. So it's a really nice um, um, leaf brochure with lots of patterns in. And if I can find a link to this, I'll include it below. And the second one is this one here. Um, I think it's a PDF download pattern. And again, if I can find a link, I'll include it below. 
and that has the camel in there. And I just pretty much picked and chose which bits I wanted to use from each pattern based on um, what, um, what I liked about the different characters. And they both came up about similar height, so that was quite good, so they all fit together nicely. Um, but it was a really enjoyable project. I got to see some really nice walls. This wall here from the Kings is a lovely um, sparkly wall, so it feels really Christmassy. As of the sheep, I use this kind of um, fluffy, cuddly wool, which is really fun to knit with too. Um, yeah, it was just a really fun project. I really enjoyed that one. Oh, and I wanted to add, um, with um, the um, knitted um, people, um, one tip I have is to um, get them to stand well and so they don't fall over. And what I did was I put um, inside the, um, when I was stuffing, I put at the bottom a couple of metal washers. I just got them from Amazon and they were quite cheap um, and they just kind of weigh down the bottom of the, um, of the characters. They're not too heavy, but they do stand nicely and nice and flat. And that really helps, I think, them to stay yeah, upright. So that's what I recommend. Um, just some really um, inexpensive metal washers to pop at the bottom and then pop stuffing on top. And then the final project I wanted to share with you, it's not a knitting or a sewing project, it's just a crafty project I um, did last year. Um, and it's to make a homemade bauble wreath. And I'll put up a picture of my wreath. Um, I'd seen a few bauble wreaths on other people's doors and I thought they were really nice. I liked how the baubles kind of pick up the lights and they look a bit glittery and quite um, pretty. So I thought I'd make mine myself. So I got a um, polystyrene ring from Hobbycraft and I'll include details below of what I used. And then I used my glue gun to attach baubles and to turn it into a bauble wreath. Um, I chose kind of um, the kind of goldy colours because we have um, some sort of goldy coloured lights outside that twinkle so I thought it would match. And it was just a really fun quick project, it just did it in an evening, um, left it to dry after using the glue gun and it, it just, um, it just I think it's just quite a nice straightforward simple project to have a go of, just to brighten up the outside of your house and add a bit of Christmas cheer. Um, so that's my final craft project. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in um, to this Christmassy vlog, um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my Christmassy makes, I really enjoyed making them. I'd love to hear what you've made for Christmas. Um, I'm always looking for inspiration for what else to sew and, and knit. Um, and so thank you very much for watching and I do hope you have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye!